this is an in-depth tutorial on Trust Wallet app. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Allcoin Chief where we talk about cryptocurrencies and blockchain. If you don't want to miss any crypto content on this channel, including in-depth tutorials, make sure you click the subscribe button and also the notification bell. Today, we want to be focusing on a very popular cryptocurrency self-custody wallet that is Trust Wallet. This is an in-depth guide on how to set up and use Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet allows you to have self-custody of your own crypto assets. It means that there are no counterparty risks when it comes to storing your crypto on Trust Wallet. So Trust Wallet is mainly used as a mobile app and this is what we're gonna be setting up today. Trust Wallet is available on both Android and iOS, but for the purposes of this video, we're gonna be using um, an iOS device. But the setup process is exactly the same on Android. So you wanna to go to your App Store or Google Play Store, and in here you wanna search for Trust Wallet. As you can see, Trust Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet is available to download. You wanna hit download the app, and once the app downloads, you'll be able to see it on your screen. Go ahead and enter the Trust Wallet app. In here, you'll be able to create a new wallet, or if you have a self-custody wallet already, you can upload it using the I already have a wallet option. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna be creating a brand new wallet. So click create a new wallet. In here, you'll be greeted with a legal policy. So it's terms and conditions. Click the tick on the bottom to agree with the policies and click continue. So in here, you'll be able to create a short password and this password will be used to access the app. It gives you an extra layer of protection against someone who could potentially steal your funds. So go ahead and create a password. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna be keeping it very simple, but what you wanna do is create as complex passwords as possible. So back up your wallet now. In here, these boxes, make sure that you understand that if you lose the secret phase that's gonna be shown to you, you lose your money. And this is very important. If you lose this phrase, even the Trust Wallet team can't help you. So let's continue. And this is our secret phrase. So this secret phrase, as you can see, it's 12 words. You wanna make sure these words are not shown to anyone. You wanna hide them, you wanna write them down, you wanna keep them very secure because with these words, someone can access your wallet and take your funds. If you lose these words, even you won't be able to restore your wallet. Therefore, these words are very, very important. So once you wrote those phrases down in a secure place, you can go ahead and continue. Right now, we'll be asked to verify the secret phrase. This is done for you to make sure that you can retrieve your wallet and also it makes sure that you have your secret phrase written down. So let's go ahead and input those. Once you verify your secret phrase, you can go ahead and continue. And now you've set up your cryptocurrency self-custody trust wallet. So the next few slides are taking you through some news and options that are available on this wallet. So let's go ahead and skip those. And now you're greeted with the Trust Wallet app. In here, you'll be able to find few options. Let's cover receiving cryptocurrency. As you can see, there's a list of Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, and BNB Smart Chain, which is here by default. What you can do is add tokens using the option on the bottom. And this allows you to add tokens. There's a big list of tokens that you are able to add. And also you can use the plus sign on the top left to add custom tokens. So 
let's cover receiving crypto into your trust wallet. For the purposes of this video, we'll be receiving Ethereum. So go to receive, which is an option on the top and click Ethereum because that's what we want to receive. In here, you'll be greeted with a QR code and also the Ethereum wallet address. This wallet address is what you want to copy. And depending on where you're sending the funds from, you want to send to this address. So if you copy that address and paste it into a crypto exchange or whatever else you're using to receive that crypto, this is the wallet you want to use. Make sure before sending that this is the actual wallet address. Once you paste it into a website, make sure this is the right address. For the purposes of this video, we'll be sending funds from our Binance account. So going into Ethereum, we're going to be sending. So withdraw is the option you want to do. Send via crypto. Input the address that we've copied. So again, make sure this is the correct address. Select network. Ethereum is what we're going to use. And we want to send, let's send the maximum amount and click withdraw. So let's go ahead and confirm that transaction. And as you can see, the withdrawal is now processing. So let's go back to our Trust Wallet app. And as you can see, we've just received our Ethereum from Binance. So the key thing to remember from receiving crypto into your Trust Wallet app is to make sure that the wallet address that you're inputting into an exchange or wherever else is correct. So if you want to send crypto, it's a very similar story. You click send, you select the crypto that you want to send, and now you're able to input the recipient address in the box on the top and also the amount of crypto you want to send. And once you input those amounts, you can go ahead and send. If you are using the Ethereum network, you always need to have some Ethereum on your wallet to cover gas costs. Gas costs are basically the money you pay to send or to execute a transaction. So on the bottom right, you'll be greeted with the settings option. Let's go ahead and see what we can see in this section. The settings allow you to, on the very top, add more wallets. The wallets tag allows you to click the plus sign on the top right with a plus and you could create a new wallet or add an existing wallet to this page. It also allows you to click the I icon and it allows you to again show the secret phrase. More options on this page include price alerts. The price alerts allow you to get notifications on the swings in prices of your assets that you hold on this wallet. You also have preferences when it comes to currency. You can have US dollar because this is the default, but you can also change this to whatever suits your needs. Also, you can choose the language that you use on this app. Underneath that, you have security. Security gives you some additional app security like auto lock, which is immediate lock method. You can use passcode that we've set up at the beginning, or you can use something like face ID, for example. Also, you have push notifications for any alerts. You're able to set that up from the settings section as well. And also at the bottom, you have a section called browser. Let's go ahead and check this out. So browser allows you to browse through websites and connect your Trust Wallet app. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to be going on to uniswap.info. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange that allows you to swap between tokens directly from your self-custody wallet. You can browse through Uniswap or any other website that you're going into. And if you want to connect to Uniswap, Go ahead and connect with the top right icon. Click Wallet Connect and select Trust Wallet because that's what we're using today. Once you click that, this window will pop up. 
make sure that you're connecting to the right source. Go ahead and connect. And right now we are connected. So as you can see, Ethereum is available. This is the Ethereum that we've sent over before. So let's go ahead and swap that Ethereum for USDC for the purposes of this video. So let's go ahead and swap 0 0.1689 because we also want to leave some funds for the fee. So this will give us around $200. Let's go ahead and click swap. Confirm the swap. Confirm on the trust wallet window and the transaction has been submitted. The transaction time on Ethereum takes up to 30 seconds. In some cases it might be longer, but as you can see, we now have 204 USDC. We've completed a swap. So this is how you use Uniswap DAP on your trust wallet. So let's go back to the wallet. As you can see, we've swapped to USDC, but it doesn't show on our trust wallet. The reason for that is because you need to add USDC to your token list. Let's go ahead and add tokens. You can input in the search bar USDC, tick USDC and hit done. As you can see, we now are able to view our $200 directly in a Trust Wallet app. Trust Wallet also has a direct swap function built in, which is on the right side and it allows you to quickly swap between different assets. There is a big list of assets that you're able to swap to directly on your Trust Wallet app. You can also click the buy icon and this allows you to purchase cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, for example, using your credit or debit cards. So the key learnings from this tutorial are Trust Wallet is a self custody app where you hold your own private keys. Nobody has access to your funds unless they have your secret phrase. Make sure you store that secret phrase in a secure place. Don't show it to anyone. Also, when you send or receive tokens, make sure the address that you're using is double checked. You don't want to be sending to a wrong address. You don't want to be losing your funds because if you send to the wrong address, nobody can retrieve those tokens, unfortunately. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me at the altcoin chief on Twitter. This is it for today and I will see you in the next one.